All right, guys, so it's finally time to fuck with this Miata. The reason I'm fucking with this Miata more than anything is because I'm tired of it sitting here. I'm tired of having this fucking tarp on it and it's still getting water on the inside of here and ruining this fucking interior. Oh, like, it's I, I don't want this thing to rot, so I'm sick of it. And I'm doing something about it. I'm actually putting time into this little motherfucker. First, I want to do is get this window up so let's do it real quick boom all right the window's up bam perfect the tarp goes down perfect that tarp is so good like cement so now the interior won't stop getting hurt um i'm gonna i got seats for it though by the way on this one. <laughs> just like that <laughs> this motor has either a bonehead gasket or the water pump is just bad to maybe the gasket on the water pump is no good because it's leaking out water and it's making it run hot and i personally have not ran it too hot but the guy that we let have this car is our buddy chase we all went in thirds on it and he had it for a long time because he wanted it ended up fucking it up technically and finally sat his dad's forever and he finally let me just come and scoop it so we're having to go back well me personally Having to go back and fix all the fuck ups and treat this like it's supposed to be treated and it's just been rotten and I don't want it to do that no more so that's what I'm doing. Let's get back to it. <laughs> oh, oh wait, we're fucking stupid. It's in the truck. <laughs> Forgot the batteries in the trunk. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's good though. There ain't nothing in the sun, bitch. That means it ain't frozen. Uh, yeah, or it froze and leaked it all out. <laughs> God damn. Oh, let's see. Play with better. Alright, try it. Oh! 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 She's running! She's running! Oh my gosh, she's smoking her fucking ass off. Dumb fast. Oh my god. Pockets ain't got no fucking yeah, fluid. Ain't got in it. yeah, but that whining noise you're hearing is the power the uh no cooler. So it has no coolant. It just froze last night, so maybe that's a good thing because straight water in it would have damaged the block or anything. But yeah, gotta put this door piece back on there uh had to take that off to get the key made uh got it put it back on there this dent used to not be here and now it's here because of a fucking big ass limb ozzy what are you doing oh my gosh what are you doing girl got these big ass ugly wheels on the back uh tires on the back and tiny ones on the front gotta fix that uh oh my god let's see what the fuck the 240 thing is a gym but yeah we're gonna have the miata ripping soon and the 240 ripping soon thing is hard you can't run over the stick dog <laughs> is that what you got out there
update taking these back wheels off because you can't slide with these big ass tires because it rubs i'm not lifting up the coils just putting these on for right now them look so much better on here than these do in my opinion like <clears throat> look at that the misters look a lot better I don't have a full set. Like I've got the full set of rims, but the front, uh, the back tires are blown. These were front tires that were basically switched to the rear when I had the S13 coupe. Uh, links in the description for that. And these wheels are off the S13 coupe as well. Cause I have five lugs swapped it, which I'm keeping this four lug and he's keeping this four lug. This is the 240 that me and Justin went and Chase went and purchased from Mississippi. He drove it two hours back. We took it to a drift event. I paid 2,400 bucks, like 25 with gas. He's buying it from me. So it's his car, but it's my car right now because he hasn't paid me off yet, but it's his car. He's doing all the work to it and it's his first shit box. So he's loving it. I'm fixing this up. This is me and my buddy Jordan's car, but hopefully I can get it from Jordan. So it's just my car and they look good. I'm gonna get new tires for them so I can, they have matching sets. Also, I need to put this back on there. All right, this is on there now. Yeah, he fixed the heater in this, he thinks. Well, hopefully. Hopefully, let's see. This is the motor at the 350Z that we did. It only needs rod bearings. Only needs rod bearings. That's is that we easy? Could, we could have just dropped the pan and did it in the car. Uh, the, this needs to go in the Popol's hard bag. Yeah. Yeah, I watch a bunch of them on YouTube do it, so that's what I want. Careful. Careful. Uh-oh. God damn, you dropped the fucking Test one with the new hose and thermostat, thermostat housing. Let's see if it cranks. <laughs> First time I ever fucked with timing, so I might have got it off. But thermostat don't look like it's leaking.
update on the Miata. Um, need to put some brake fluid in it. I fixed really all I can with the motor. Can't find no more leaks. Changed the thermostat housing and the thermostat bolt. Took the valve cover cap off. Had to do all that shit in order to get the thermostat. But just took it up the road and it ran good. Uh, it only smokes when you're giving it throttle a lot. It's funny because it says the oil pressure is at zero. But you give it gas and it goes up. It's not running hot. I hope that gauge is not right. But I feel like if it had no oil pressure, the motor would be fucking making all kind of ruckus. But uh, oh shit, I do see a fluid leak. This hose right there. You can tell the clamps back here when it's supposed to be right there. I didn't even mess with that hose. So I'm not sure. Guy we got this back me on it back from. I don't know what he was doing with it, but there was a lot of shit off. But it runs. It's got oil. It's got coolant now, and I know where the other leak is. That makes sense. I'm glad I found that out. Uh about to vacuum it out and yeah clean it all up and i need to raise these coil levers up because it rubbed just rubbing this tire currently lifting up these coils that are fucking ass water anyway but i'm lifting them up so it don't rub all up in there and i beat this out to hopefully fit these tires because these boys are nice Jalen is currently how you doing baby you loving it my way. I know, I wish we could take it off. We will add a quick release, but this is before. And she's already got that side clean, and she got this back pretty much clean. And I found the door pieces. They're right here. I'm going to put them on. I love this. So, we're vacuuming out the Miata. And vacuumed out the and cleaned the mats they were disgusting they look a lot better than they did before this is before and this is a after can't really tell on camera but it's a big difference now let's put these in the miata let's take this one put it back in the miata We clean the seats off, but it's obviously still getting some stuff in it. I uh, took the dirty one out and put this, made this yesterday. Um, it's looking a lot better. Dylan just cleaned all this. And all this is clean, and all this is clean. That's clean. Had the doorknob for it, but it won't stay on. But it's looking 110 times better. What do you guys think? And I'll also... Oh, shit. Like, shit like this, bro. I need to just hit it with some glue and then put it on there. All right, that's back on there. I put these wheels back on here because I lifted up the coils and I don't believe it will rub now. Everything's mechanically sound under the hood for the most part. Interior's clean. So, take a second from working on this. I got to show y'all something. My car. My car. So these shirts came from my buddy, Cody and Larry. Their brand, Limitless Motorsports. Uh, they put out some really great content. Go check them out. Link is in the description below. Thank you, Cody, for the shirts. I'm going to definitely wear them to the next Drift event. All right, guys. So it is the next day, and we got the Miata loaded up. We have not changed, like cleaned the outside of it. But we cleaned the inside of it. And I made it run good. We still have left to do. Found out yesterday the fans aren't cutting on. So I'm going to wire the fans to a toggle switch. And the back passenger side brake caliper is locking up. So we're going to get that fixed. We're bringing it to my buddy Robbie's shop. Thank God to Robbie because it's been raining wet nasty. It actually just cleared up. So I didn't get wet loading this up. But it was just exhausting doing it by myself. Mostly because... These motherfuckers weigh a shit ton. But I got some burners for this weekend. Y'all won't see the video of us sliding this. Maybe I'll add in one clip. <laughs> 
Check out the next video because if everything goes right, we will be sliding this in New Orleans. We're on the way to New Orleans right now with it. So let's go pick up Jalen and we can head out. So we made it in Nola. I'm taking uh, Miata off the trailer and I'm all finished messing with it and see how she does. All right, so we in Robbie's garage. We fixed the caliper. It was uh, locking up. Wired up the fans because they were not wired up. So now we got a thing. Look at we put put it in. They work. That's just temporary, just so we can survive through the we're night. To we're trying to yeah, cut up tonight. That's on there, huh? And these motherfuckers. Just, just that. No lashes. Just no. Oh shit. We are in the Miata. Jalen is doing her nails. Robbie's in front of us and we're going to get food. We got the Miata running good. We hope. We'll see. Bye. Right. There's one.